Hey guys, what's up? Anyway, this is going to be basically the end result of this video. So it's just converting a uh, Mr. Pandaria house uh, model into rather a WMO into, uh, to Rapid Lich King and all the works and kinks of how to get it done. Alright, so uh, yeah, so please bear with me. It's been a couple years since I last did this, so it was kind of so I'm pretty rusty, but I got the job done, and hopefully, you guys will find it uh, amusing and uh, educational as well. So, thank you. Bye bye. Hey guys, this video is for Tucker, um, however, you pronounce his name, anyway. So, yeah, this is I haven't done this in a long time, and I didn't want to practice so. <laughs> Here we go. Hopefully it goes through pretty pretty uh, quickly because I kind of kind of remember what to do. But uh, w whatever method I show you, is it going to work on every WMO? Or is it just going to work for a handful? All right. So there will be times when you'll come across a WMO where this doesn't do shit on it. It still crashes the game no matter what you do. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of you'll be on yourself on your own to uh, figure out how to get around that maybe talk with a couple of buddies that may be doing this too and maybe you guys can come up with a solution if not um then try to figure it out on your own um a, a, a lot of this stuff um we're all kind of uh by ourselves with the, uh, with it so yeah don't don't think that you're uh that i'm like trying to ignore you guys because uh, because I'm an asshole. It's uh, I'm kind of ignoring you guys because I'm tr trying to give you that tough love type of things to to where you'll uh, try to go out and uh, figure these th these things out on your own and such. All right, and compare files from one file to another. Why something works? Why this one doesn't? What's missing in this one? What and so on and so forth. All right. So uh, without further ado, let's do this. So I'm gonna be using my uh, Dreno in 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 install. All right, so I'm gonna be using Cast Explorer. So the WMO I'm gonna get is uh, is WMO, and then go to Pandaria, go to generic, we got a house, and then down here will be a uh, a house uh, 01 and whatever. So grab all all grab the root file and then the extension files that that go behind it. All right, right click extract extract this to a folder I have not made yet so let me make a folder here just call it a just to make it easier to grab all right and then go to the a folder go okay go okay it's in here yada 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 all right now I need to get the textures for it so open up 010 and then uh, drag and drop this into here all right and then from here apply the WMO template. If you don't have the WMO template, don't know how to apply them, well, I'll have the download link somewhere in, in the description. But um, but to put them on, basically just go to open template, find your template wherever you extracted them to, and then once you have that, go to uh, go to template and do run template and apply it there. All right, I, I have it in my preset list because I put it on my template list. But yeah, so same shit. All right, so I'm just gonna go template and click on WMO, and here it is. From here, what you wanna do is um is go to the mon the uh, the uh, MOTX uh, layer and uh, look up all the textures that it needs. All right, so luckily for me, all of them seem to be in the same folder. All right, so yeah, this should be pretty easy. So all I have to do is just go back into Cast Explorer and then go to that. A folder so dungeon textures so at the top uh, dungeons textures uh, pan darren and then base houses and base houses and I guess they're all in here so I'll just grab all of them all right just go here shift click down here right click extract go back to the same folder and then it's not it's not all of these I might have I grabbed like a couple extra but not a big deal um, so uh, yeah so go back so that's all all the textures from here what you also need to do to, to, to uh, convert this this file the root file is you have to go to the bomb T all right and then any flags that are higher than six you have to uh, make it lower than six 
All right, like 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 this is a flag four 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 four. Those are cool. Two two four 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 four. Those are cool. But this one here is a nine. That's a one plus eight. That's nine. And this one's a one plus four plus eight. That's a thirteen. All right. So you're gonna have to make those lower. So if you double click on on that and you go to go to the flags here, right here uh, up here in the hex, it'll be highlighted on this OD. If you select it um, down here, it'll say the value is thirteen. All right, so my, I, I I want that value to be some uh, basically um, uh, uh, below six. So what I usually do is I just take out that eight. So if, so um, so one plus four is five. So I, I do a zero five, and as you can see right there, it just says uh, the the flag is uh, five now. All right, close this one. The next one is down here. Double click this one here. Click this. You select this. That's a nine. All right, so what's in there it's gonna be a, 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 a one plus eight so i'm gonna take out the eight so just a zero one now all right and that's it and then we're, we're good on that everything else looks fine save all right so once that's done then get all the uh, piece files so these other two here that has the numbers on them drag them drop them in uh, in, in here uh do a uh, ascii search make sure it's an S. ASCII control F and do an ASCII search for S bomb. Uh, go to options and make sure it's case sense uh, match case. All right, then hit enter. All right, from here, it, this is going to be a little a little tricky. I'm go I'm going to try to explain as best as I can so that you guys can understand it. Hopefully, all right. The first part is the uh, is is the um, is the title of this of the chunk. All right, the S bomb or basically mob S. All right, the next four bytes is basically the chunk size all right so this thing says it's 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 hexadecimal 18 size if you click it um it's basically 24 bytes because that's what hexadecimal 18 is it's uh 24 all right so what that means is right after this first this this uh four bytes here will be where the chunk starts so if you select 24 bytes so that's 4 8 12 16 20 24 that's the full chunk of the uh, s bomb if you look forward the next one is that r dom or rather mod r whatever that's another chunk and so on and so forth so you so you want to take out that whole chunk all right so select the s bomb and up to here and take that out hit delete and it's save all right same thing with here s bomb and then and then the, the reason why i explained it that way is because Another person before me, actually another person after me rather, um, tried explaining it to people and they all got confused because you notice how that S bomb was at the very far left. He was telling people to go from left to right and go all the way to the right to the, to the next one, uh, next one, and that confused a lot of people because they were looking for all the way to to the left uh, uh, wall of, of of the starting area, and. Um, that's not basically how it works so people were so here's the s bomb here right people were were selecting from all the way over here and go, going into another chunk of data that that doesn't even belong to that chunk and then making a lot of errors all right so that's why i'm, I'm explaining it this way so if i so so uh, another way of looking at it is is uh here's this rdom right so basically you just have to take up all the way up to there and then you can delete and say but if but there are times when the chunk is going to be larger than than uh, uh 24 bytes so sometimes there's a a 4 8 here which is basically <coughs> double that size so you have to to uh to basically take out that whole chunk if, if you only take out 24 bytes when it, when it's a a uh, a a 36 or a 48 byte long area um, you're not taking out the whole chunk. You're, you're just gonna basically have an error at the end of it. All right. So make sure you actually take out the full thing. Okay. So take this out, delete, and save. All right. From here, what I want to do is just basically make a patch in uh, in, in my 335 uh, uh, directory, and this stuff's gonna go into into it. So I'm gonna go to uh, go to uh, my my uh, my 335 inst inst uh, installation. Where the hell I put it? Um, let me just browse to it real quick. Open, go here. That's my data folder, and then uh, make a new folder patch. I'm not gonna use the MPQ because MPQs are annoying. 
to me. Um, so I like using folders just because they're easier to work with, but they also make larger file sizes because they're not compressed, but whatever. So patch 4.mpq, this is a fresh inst installation of, of the game. So if you've been playing on other people's servers or you have patches from other people, you're going to have a bunch of other, other shit uh, in here, but yeah. So if anybody needs a fresh install, whatever, or doesn't have it, I'll have a link up soon. Just let me know who uh, who needs it, and so I can hit you back when I get it back up. But yeah, all right. So in my patch 4.mpq, just gonna drag and drop these all into here. Now from here, I'm guy. I, I need to make a DBC file. All right, so I'm gonna go to my core folder, which is basically here. I'm I'm using uh, Jody's Repack. All right. So I'll go to where, where your core is at, go to DBC and get, get the game object display uh, info DBC file. I'm going to be using a program called a wild parser to convert the DBC into a text file and then I'm going to edit the text file, change it back into a DBC file and so on and so forth. All right. So I'll drag and drop this into here, copy that and then I'm going to convert this into a CSV file again, download links in the description whatever all right so i'm gonna open up the csv into notepad plus plus all right i'm gonna do a search for a wmo so wmo so uh dot wmo quotation mark and just basically copy a an existing w, uh, wmo entry all right so select this copy it and then go to the bottom and uh i can close this make a new entry and, and just give it a unique ID name that's that's not already taken up. So uh, nine seven five six. All right. And then uh, <clears throat> from here, I'm going to just uh, put the a uh, the uh, new um, path for it. All right. So go back into uh, where my patch is at, or by AAA doesn't matter. All right. And then um, or the patch will probably be an easier example to explain. So I'll go to the WMO file. All right, so from here, I'm going to copy all the way from where the patch starts to where to basically the folders in between that. So I'm going to just copy it from the world to the uh, 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 to the house folder. All right, I'm going to paste that into here, put a backslash on there, and then we get the root uh, file name. All right, paste that into here, all right, like that. So it's on there. All right, save this. All right, now I want to go back into my uh, my uh, wild parser folder and uh, uh, convert this back into a DBC. But I'm, I'm gonna, gonna delete the original one, all right? And and now I uh, just double click this one, change it back into DBC, and there you go. All right, I'm gonna just edit the extension so that it's an, an actual DBC file. All right, if you don't have extensions uh, shown um, to do it, basically be, with, be within a window, push the Alt key on your keyboard. This will probably go to Tools, Folder Options, go to View, and, and, and uncheck where it says hide extensions for known file types, all right? Otherwise, you won't be able to change your extension and you're gonna be putting a, you'll be putting a misnamed DBC into a, D, a DBC folder, which doesn't do anything at all, all right? So anyway, so what you wanna do now is go back into the patch and make a new folder called DB files clients, all right? Make a copy into here. All right, and also make a copy of this into your um, into your uh, core DBC folder. All right, so into here too. So copy into here too, replace it. There you go. Now you want to go into your database and add an entry for it. So I'm gonna go to my world database tables. Go to my game object template right here go down here go right to the bottom I'm gonna put in new entry for a entry of five zero 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 one all right the type is gonna be 11 the display ID is was what I put in the DBC file so nine seven five six nine seven five six I'm gonna call it a PA house a one or whatever I want to call it all right and then now uh, that's it so it's saved um, and uh, such. So now we just want to restart the world server. So close this out and restart it. All right, let that start back up. And now if I go in game, I should be able to spawn uh, uh, object ID 5, 500,001 and I should get a, um, a house, hopefully. So let's see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna do a .g object, 
Uh, five zero zero one. Oops. Add. Forgot to add. All right. So I got a house. And there you go. There is a Pandaren house that's reflective as hell because one of those flags is not correct. <laughs> All right. So um, yeah. So let's go back into here. Let me close this out and go back to my patch folder. All right, so go back into here, go into here, world WMO, get the root WMO and figure out which uh, which flag is it that's causing that reflective uh, ex external layer. All right, so I'm gonna go back into, uh, was it Monty? All right, cool. Um, so the ones that were different were i think this one one shouldn't be reflective so it's so part of this five this 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 uh, five let's try making it a, a six so click on here and let's just make this a, a zero six save it and uh i i don't believe um with resolution you could just log out and it'll ref reflect i think that's only a cataclysm thing but let's see all right so it's no longer reflective on the outside so it does work on uh Wrap the Lich King as well, and there you go. So that's the flag that was causing the, the, the uh, reflective issue, and so on and so forth. So hopefully you guys found this helpful, and yeah, alrighty, bye bye. Thank you, and. Uh,